Excitement in the kitchen. Say, let's see the excitement. All right. Just you come along with me and I'll show it to you. Welcome, I'm Jonathan, the appliance dude here at Curto's in Westchester County. I'm standing here in front of a 36 inch DCS built-in grill. This is their new C-Series. This is a BGC 36 BQAR. And I am all, you might be saying to yourself, what are you doing with those mitts on? This is a new fashion accessory that I'm sporting here at Curto's. Um, actually, what these are, these are actually um, grill mitts by none other than uh, Steve Reichlin, who is the head of the Jedi Council of uh, Grill Sages. Steve, as you may have seen him at Barbecue University, um, I forgot the other name of his show that's on cable all the time, but Steve, even with his outdated hairdo, um, is the man. He is the sage when it comes to grills. Adam Perry Lang is up there as well, by the way. Um, but Steve actually has these phenomenal uh, grilling mitts over here to protect your hands, your arms, from high temperatures coming off your grill. And quite frankly, I've owned a Weber, I've owned a Wolf, I've never actually used, needed these before. Um, but, but, the reason why I'm talking about them and wearing them in this video is because this grill is hot as hell. Now, because I own this grill, I've owned it since April, and one of the uh, changes with the new C series is that they put a heat shield underneath the burners. Okay, so in this grill with three burners, there's three there's three heat shields, and the purpose of the heat shield is to take heat, that excess heat that might be going downwards into the firebox, okay, and it reflects it back up north to the grates to your cooking surface. What that does is there's no wasted heat, very efficient. And I can tell you right now, it is hot as blazes, no pun intended. And um, what I found was, and I've owned a Weber grill, I've owned a Wolf grill, and many, many times I would reach over, no problem, moving your food around, what have you. Um, you could always do the one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi to see how things, how hot they were, because I don't really, I don't trust the temperature gauges that are on the hoods. And I couldn't do this with this DCS grill. I had to buy these gloves, which were actually recommended by Cooks County, who, by the way, are actually America's Test Kitchen or DCS sponsor. How funny is that? Um, coincidence? I don't know. So not only has the heat from this grill necessitated me to purchase the Steve Reichen gloves, but what it's also done is it's altered my cooking times. What I've noticed is I very rarely ever use the sear feature on this grill and I very rarely use the high temperature setting as well. I will set it to high when I'm first starting up because I want to get things to temperature quickly. So within 10 minutes, actually even less than that, probably around seven, six to seven minutes, I'm at a searing temperature if I want to make a nice ribeye with my marks on it and what have you. Um, so it definitely heats up quicker. But the difference between this grill and say my Wolf grill, which, I, which is actually a Twin Eagles grill, is that quite often on the Wolf grill, I would cook near high or between medium and high. That doesn't happen with this. The highest I'm on this grill is literally the medium setting for the most part. And quite frankly, I'm cooking a lot more on between low and medium on this one than I ever did before. I mean, I would rarely ever touch low unless I was doing something on an indirect heating uh, uh, basis. So the grill is extremely hot. The heat, I mean, the, heat, the heating shield is great in the sense that it's actually, it's making the grill more efficient. Um, Obviously, if you're not, if you're using an LP tank and you don't have to have things up on high, you're actually conserving some propane so you won't run out at your next party, which always seems to happen to me. So if you're going to buy this grill, number one, you might want to invest in a pair of gloves. All right, Steve Reichlin, maybe you don't need these, I don't know, but um, uh, I like to support Steve. Not that he needs my help, the man's loaded. Um, the other thing is you're gonna have to understand, more importantly, that your cooking times and your recipes are going to be altered because of the heat. So, in the past, if I was going to sear, again, we'll use a thick ribeye steak, and I was going to sear it three minutes on a side and then pull it off and do indirect heat, I'm not leaving it on for three minutes on this. Now, can I quantify how, what the difference is? No. But I will, though. I will do that in a future video. Um, I can tell you, though, with my infrared heat gun, and I've hit it at different angles because the infrared readings on those guns, um, depending if it hits a reflective surface, can be a little inaccurate. But I have, received, I have, I have registered readings over 1,000 degrees on this grill. Um, I kid you not. So folks, that's it. Heat shield, 
new feature on the new DCS grills. Get your gloves, it's hot. Thank you for your time. Come visit us here at Curdos or call if you have any questions. And you could always reach me, Jonathan, at Curdos.com. I love answering cool questions. Thank you.